Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes it's useful to be able to see the uh, edges of uh, an area to inspect it or to enhance it or to use it as a must for controlling what you're doing. And you are given something here. So the normal thing to do is to do a control J, select that. There we go, get a duplicate. Then go to filters, detect and detect edges. And you get a like this. And if I hit Control I, that inverts it so I can see it a bit more clearly. And then I can do something like a normal and go in and do different blends on it, multiplying it and so on to enhance the edges. If, however, I just look at this a bit more closely here, look at these things here. What it's got is it's discovered this. Let's see if I turn that off and on there. It's been doing too fine a trace of edges. I don't want necessarily all that detail. Um, it's also got this double line here with a line down the middle, which I might not want. So what can I do about it? Well, let's, um, let's go back to this here, go out, and we'll look at a, using the custom blur with what's known as a Laplacian operator which is basically, it's a bunch of numbers. You don't need to know the name, but it's useful just for kind of talking about it. So the simplest um, Laplacian operator is I go to here, and I'll roll the mouse, mouse wheel to go minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one in a diamond, then up to three, four there. Nothing seems to be happening. So I'll set the offset up one to one. There we go. Now we detected the edges. When you see this when you're zoomed out like this, it shows you this, but it's not necessarily what it's like when you zoom in. So if we zoom into this, because it's showing you that it, there is something there, to know so what it's really like, you have to get into 100% or more. So it's a, it's a bit faint, but it is there. What you can do as well from this is you can take the Laplacian operator and extend it a bit. So let's do this. Down, go down to this one here and go oops, minus one, minus one, minus one, minus one here. So all the minuses add up to eight. So to balance it, let's put this up here and there you go at eight. Now we've got something that's a lot stronger. So I could say apply this. And now if I go down to with the something like the multiply or down to the overlay, I get the interesting effect. I can even go down to things like hard light and vivid light. And I'm getting other forms you know, of another mask now, which I could use again. So that's the kind of thing that you can do. Let's just delete that one off there for now. And I'll turn that one off because we're going to look at the sun that I prepared previously. So we've got a bit of time to whiz through them. We'll start down here at the bottom. And there's the one we just looked at. So that's minus ones all the way around and four in the middle. And then I extended the minus ones like that. You can see it got a lot clearer. So what else? Let's go to the next one here. Here's another pattern where I've got minus ones all the way around. So ones all the way around and minus eight in the middle. Notice here you've got the double line between things instead of a single line. And you can, uh, if I take this one off here, you can see if I extended that. So that's before and I'm just adding ones on the diamond there and the middle goes down to minus 12 and again that's stronger here we go before after so you strengthen that by extending it outwards let's look at the next one see this again has double lines and now i will look at this one and here's got a pattern with this um, which is two minus one two minus one two minus one and minus four in the middle Again, you've got a similar one, a double line pattern here. If I extend this one out, there we go. I just went down here. I put ones in the corner, see one in each corner. And that made, means I got a minus eight in the middle to balance it out. It's a much stronger version of that. So before and after with the ones in the corner. And my favorite one of these is up here. And this is this one. And this one's is stronger again but it's got single lines here not the double lines and it's got a diamond pattern see it's got minus ones around the outside then minus twos there then a 16 to balance it out 
in the middle and offset is zero by the way here and if i do a little bit more tweaking which is note the air between where the minus twos are replace them with minus fours balance the middle up to 24 so minus two the minus four there's a slight difference up here but not a lot but it means you can do tweaking you could enhance that further but it gives you the idea so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take the background image from this. I'm going to put it above here. So imagine I've done all that stuff. And now I've got this above the standard original image. And I can do things like, I'll just do a blend of this. You can see the effect it immediately sharpens this up. Uh, in, you know, as you can darken it in different ways, you can go down to the overlay uh, and so on. If you want to get rid of the dots on there, you can play around with levels and blurs and so on. But overall, there we go. Here you've got, and let's just go out from that, a surprisingly sharpened effect image. And all the edges are enhanced. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.